da 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 Hey folks, welcome back to Check It With Target. Now, last time I built my little house and I got everything prepared so I could survive the night. Now, I have a plan for what I want to do today and that is get started on my farming so that I can plant some seeds and start growing crops because I need, well, I need food otherwise I'm going to starve as you can see I'm down to one and a half items on my hunger bar which is not good so I've made a wooden hoe and there are plenty of there's plenty of time to joke about hoes later but first I'm going to quickly run down well stroll down here since I can now run again I'm going to come down here. I'm going to plant my seeds over there. And I'm quickly going to hoe this soil. And since that one's... Nope. They haven't gotten wet yet. So I'm going to hoe a large section of this soil. And then I'm going to try and get some seeds so I can plant lots of stuff. So that bit's wet, so I'm going to plant my flax there and my other seeds over there and then I'm going to punch lots of so I'm only doing the basic farming in Minecraft so far you can do a bit more advanced with breeding and the like but I don't actually know how to do that so I'll find out offline how to do that and then I'll show that to you later is you can make weed killer and everything like that but for the moment I think I've gathered enough seeds to want to come back here and plant some more so and then the last bit of flax I'm gonna put right over here and I'll leave that as my for <coughs> Excuse me, and I'll leave that as my farm for the time being. So I've got a farm, I've got wood. I'm actually, as you can see, the big grey bit is now turned into a proper volcano because I had to re log in. And what's also happened is that I've turned mobs on, and the game is in hardcore mode now because it's or it's in hard difficulty. So that means hostile mobs should start spawning in dark areas, like down here. So at some point, uh, there you see a skeleton, I'm going to get sieged by creepers. And that should make the game a bit more interesting for you as well. Because I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. But the added bonus that I forgot is that I can get bone meal quite easily now. Oh, no, 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 I'm almost dead. I forgot about that as well. Since I have no food, I have no health, and no health means death. So hopefully I collected some bones. Nope, I only got arrows. Well, that figures. But at least I do have my farm going quite pleasantly over there. And I have a reasonably safe house but I do need more wood so I think I'm gonna go on a quick mining expedi- well wood cutting expedition and I'm gonna f hmm I should also plant some pumpkin seeds so I can grow more so I'll do that as well but I'm gonna go wood cutting in a moment so I'm gonna fast forward through that so I'll be right back with you after I've gotten lots more wood And something else that I haven't actually spoken about is that this funny tree that I avoided cutting down the first time I went through is a rubber wood tree. And so a rubber wood tree drops sticky resin 
and you use that to make rubber. And rubber is used in the creation of, well, both, well, it's largely used in the creation of industrial craft machinery, which is one of the checketh mods that's installed on the server. So, I have a bit of sticky resin and I have lots of saplings. So that's a good start to this, and I'm just going to keep cutting down some more wood in the meantime. I'm finished chopping down wood, and um, before I head back I want to show one last thing, because it's getting dark. The, you can tell rubber trees apart from normal trees by, well, they have a distinctive colour, but they also have that peak on top of them, of just the leaves sticking out. But I'm going to make a dash back home so I can hide in my lovely shed, because I do not want to get mobbed by hostile mobs. So it's starting to get dark. So, back in here. I'll put down another torch. I've got a quite a good hole of wood, so I can make eight, sixteen more pieces of charcoal, and then I'm going to go to bed. So let's sleep through the night, which will luckily go fast because I'm the only one on the server. And if I'm not the only one on the server, then I have bigger problems than hostile mobs. So, put away all my good items, except for the sticky resin, or the apples, which I am going to eat, because I am nearly starving. And because of the way I've set up the server, I'll actually die from starvation. Which is one of the concessions I wanted to make to playing on... This was last time I forgot to put the server into a mode where mobs would spawn. So I'm going to eventually turn this pool down here into a swimming pool. And I'm actually going to pick up some sand while I'm down here. So what I did today was some basic farming. And shows you a bit more of the Minecraft world. And you can see my plants are, my crops are slowly growing and soon I'll have plenty of them. And some more seeds and flax to plant. Well, I'm slowly starving to death. So, I'm quickly going to run around and see, can I find some pigs or cows to kill so I can get some beef or pork? So, I've managed to find some pigs. And I also found some exposed charcoal. Or, not charcoal, just plain coal. Which I'll dig up in a second after I collect my bounty of bacon. Because once I've bakened up, I'll start healing again. Eventually. And my health should start going up now. There we go. And this exposed coal vein should prove very useful as well. Since coal and charcoal are to all intents and purposes so far identical. Of course, there are also plenty of sheep. And as is normal, I have absolutely no use for sheep. Because I have all the wool I can use for the time being. So, I think I'll make it back to my house once I've filled up on health. And just stash these things and then quickly go and see can I punch some skeletons to get bone meal because that'll help with everything I do and I can show you some of the hostile mobs in the game for a brief moment or two before probably dying horribly so let's see 
I've put my coal away, I've my raw pork chops. I'm gonna put the wooden actually I'll make another chest. So the chest is just eight wooden planks around the edges and that gives you chest and two of them next to each other gives you a bit more storage space. So I'll hide all my items down there. I do have three torches, so what time of day is it? Oh, it's almost noon, so plenty of time to go out and punch some hostile mobs. So let's head back over this way, see what's hiding down there. So, I, oh, there is a creeper, my arch nemesis. Now, creepers don't make any noise, except when they're about to explode, and there is four of them and a spider. Just my luck. So let's see, can I lure a creeper out? Oh, I've got two creepers and a spider. So can I get just the spider? Nope, I got just the creeper. That's fine. I can kill one single creeper on my own. Oh, yeah, they've more health as well. I forgot about that. So there is the spider. The spider is not hostile, but the creeper is. And that gives me some string, and I'm just going to flee. Is I now have gunpowder string and a spider's eye. Not that I have use for any of those items, because I would have liked a skeleton for some bone so I could make bone meal to help grow my stuff, but... Well, you can't get everything right the first time, especially when it doesn't actually depend on you getting it right, but you just being lucky. So, I survived my second encounter with hostile mobs, my first encounter with creepers, and I think I'm going to call the episode there for today. I'll plant some flowers in my garden to make it look a bit nicer. But thank you for joining me, folks. As always, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it. Please subscribe to the channel for more from me as well. And I'll see you next time when I hopefully don't get exploded by creepers again ever, ever again.